this is the third time I have tried to record that the first time I didn't even have Bandicam open second time the resolution was all effed up so hopefully I can actually do this today I'm getting annoyed with doing it every freaking day the kids and Nanjo who have been chased out to the guest house had gathered in the cousin's room and were eating the cake that Kumasawa had brought there for dessert it was both wonderful and high class, with lavish amounts of cream and decorated deliciously fruits. But even though it was delicious, for some reason, it didn't taste quite as good. How without girls on advertising doesn't taste nearly as good. If we want an advertising, if we want advertising, you can to say it's made out of mackerel. Ew, really? You can make cake from mackerel? <laughs> yes, it's cake too. If you cook with the squeeze juice of mackerel mixing with flour and eggs, it comes out all full of it. Rare. That would be incredible if it's true. Maybe mackerel show, cake will show up in my new menu at my at da, at father's at daddy's store. <laughs> uh, because mackerel made of nutrients, that's a healthy image. It would be really popular with women and old people. I'm not going to get anywhere near it. Girls don't eat something that weird. Even old people would wish to decline. <laughs> but, it's too, but it, it's delicious. It was all really raising the mood of the macro joke that was that was speciality. But no matter what happened, the sound of the downpouring rain raised their concern of the mysterious guest. In the end, they ended up showering Maria with questions again, since she was the only person here to have met Beatrice. I can't believe that. The story was true. From the way you said the way you said you didn't believe it, we, it sounds like this is the first. This isn't the first time you've heard of the witch, of this witch Maria says she met. Yeah, I find it was a pretty common fairy tale for people of that imaginative age. Exit. Yeah, she's. Peters exist every year when we come to the fairy conference. She meets with me and we play together. That's right. Although Peter Thomas doesn't usually show herself, I hear that she sometimes especially does so before I ask people clean hearts. <laughs> Beatrice was a name which referred to the being in that fairy tale about the Rokujima witch. Because the family and the servants publicly accepted the image of the witch of Kinzo's illusion to keep him in a good mood. The Rokujima fairy tale, or maybe ghost story, was formed. To family members who knew those details, the family tale of the Golden Witch was only a vague thing. But in front of Kinzo, they hadn't been able to say that. Those who didn't know the details, like young Maria, for example, it definitely wasn't vague, but a real legend of the Golden Witch. Maria believed in that legend of the witch. She swallowed that story. That was natural for an imaginative girl who believed in witches. So no one, no one did anything to betray her dream. On the contrary, they had arranged things beforehand to get her excited about her dreams. You know, Maria Chan was showing up, showing up to the candy which she said the witch gave her. I thought that somebody had probably slipped the candy into Maria Chan's bang bag. I have also a just way to wait for you two times and go. She go a tweet somewhere. Proud Kumasawa san too know all of us servants and all of us you should be a family have done it once twice. So if it'll take a small and it's get happy and sometimes plan it beforehand and you some some you sometimes plan it beforehand and play some sweet somewhere. Come to think of it, I'll bet you do that kind of thing all the time, right, George Anarchy? Mm, who knows? I mean that would be probably be unrefined. George admitted it while being extremely very that Maria didn't find out. In other words, it's kind of like Santa Claus. To protect the kid's dream, the parents plot together and lie, settling, setting par pa presents at the bedside of the child fast asleep. I want to protect the kid's dream. Although I know that Santa obviously doesn't, doesn't, didn't exist a long time ago. If the dream you don't need the, dis the illusion of, I wanted to believe it my whole life. Because they know that the world is tough. And it's full of a diabetes. Do you beat your like that? Shut the hell up, God! I'm just getting tired of you all and your beard exist. Sometimes I'm going out trying to try and make some black tea unexpectedly. Wait, wait, hang on. Did some time ago? I guess they did a transition. Well, it's something like this. Funnily, at least. In short. Except for Maria, it's a witch that supposedly no one believed in. Those words don't quite explain it. It's not that we didn't believe. Everyone was trying to make her believe. 
This was a, this was not about betraying Chow's innocence, but Santa doesn't exist in reality. Don't say that. If you don't want them to all be disappointed with, when they learn that, you should not just show them that dream in the first place. Did I think that because I was still a long way from becoming a full-fledged adult? That was finally getting an idea about the true form of the Rokujima Witch. But in the current situation, that understanding had been revised, and that pr premise had been turned upside down. That's what we thought we knew, but the witch Beatrice-sama actually appeared. Is that what this is? Furthermore, judging from our parents' uproar, it looked like she was an invited guest. That sounds kind of interesting. And she has no basis to say that a woman called Beatrice doesn't exist. It's called, it's what we're calling a devil's proof. None of us knew the woman calling herself Beatrice existed. And that's what I mean we can deny the possibility that Beatrice exists. Dr. Nando, you've been friends with Grandfather for a long time, right? At one point, I heard a lot about it from the family conference from Eat Crouch on the Others. I stored that long ago for that time. Perhaps Kim Sean had a mistress, and he didn't shout for it. I see. Our parents' heads are full with this distribution of your inheritance. So it's obvious that if the daughter of the mistress showed up, it'd be troublesome for them. Crouch and the Rich probably asked Jin Sean about it first. However, Jin Sean has sworn loyalty to Kim Jong Sean as right hand man. He's probably a more trusted friend of King Joe Shine than me itself. This time probably didn't say anything. So, next, they want to ask me as his old friend. And? So, does Grandfather have a mistress called Beatrice, Dr. Nanjo? He did. Okay, so it's confirmed that this may be Kinzo and the other Beatrice's kid. Possibly. We haven't been confirmed yet, but quite possibly. No, I have never met her. However, I have heard from Kendo Shan that he had a real relationship with a woman like that. He said that he said that she passed away a very long time ago. She's dead. And did she have a child with him? That I do not know. But Kendo Shan always said that he is researching how to revive Beatrice. Usually, if one loses a mistress and has a child left from them, they pour all their love on that child. Therefore, we can naturally find that there wasn't a child between Kendall Shine and Beatrice. Yeah? In other words, that also makes for a devil's proof. It does? It's impossible to prove that a child between him and a mister didn't exist. So now that she's actually appeared, we have to assume that she does exist. That's a bit of a rush argument. It's more realistic like that someone caught wind of the trouble with you should be a family inheritance problem. Knew about grandfather's relationship with the ministers gone go. Impersonating her, trying to get something out of the inheritance problem. It is realistic. However, we can't deny the possibility that she really is a hidden child who lived in isolation, forgotten by grandfather, and is returned for revenge, right? Revenge? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just like to embellish things to make them sound interesting. I've seen too many weird dramas. <laughs> normally, normally that would that should have been a slight joke, but had come with a mysterious guest calling himself Beatrice, who no one had invited, had marched in on the day of the family conference, when the bloody argument with with the which the inheritance tribute had become the, with the most. Why can I not freaking read today? There was no way that backwards joke would be welcome with laughter. So it was a really big help when Nanjo left energetically to calm everyone down. Yeah, heh heh, and I wasn't funny, Dappies. I see, I see, that does sound quite interesting. I shall love to read a novel with a plot like that. Well, I don't think that could actually work. After all, right now on this island, there's one, two, three, eighteen people, right? If they did something weird, they'd immediately be caught. And thanks to the typhoon, they can't even leave the island. In other words, it really doesn't look like someone crazy crime is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, Batler, you're such a fool. I agree. In a dead end without any way to escape, in a situation where everyone is suspicious. And we don't think they could pull off a terrifying revenge drama like that. Probably. In that case, it would be more realistic if she had come in secret, without showing herself. You do not often hear about people appearing openly for, for revenge in every historical place. I don't get it. Revenge is based on emotion, not logic. If that misplay, even if that misplay, maybe she, really, maybe she really afraid of the police or the number of people that are going out. 
It's all right, Jessica Chan. Nothing as horrible as we imagine will happen. <laughs> like the battle royale between our parents over the inheritance isn't horrible. That's right. Dad and Rudolph OG sound pretty tough, and you've all boss not even trained in the martial arts. It's all right. Yeah. Jessica couldn't say it, but she had vaguely known that her own father opposed all the other siblings regarding the inheritance. It acted like everything was good in front of the children, but when that princess was lifted away, like at a minute at dinner, it would become a tremulous uproar. It was only natural that Jessica, realizing that, we frightened that her father and mother have gotten into some kind of trouble, and were about to be sacrificed for something terrifying. Seriously, George Anakin's right. That isn't going to happen. Even if she pretends that she's a witch, what can a single human woman who can't use magic do? I don't even care. Sudden creepy laugh made all of us jump. And we realized that this strange laugh was coming from Maria. We were shocked again. That's right. Ballard, that's what you think, isn't it? What? What is? Don't laugh all creepy like that. You accept you accept being existent for now. At least you accept her as a 19 person, I guess. <laughs> I love that face. She's like, ooh, I'm so determined. Oh, yeah. And that's all right. You don't accept that the 19 person Beatrice is a witch, right? If I think about what I'm suddenly saying, that's probably right. Witches couldn't exist. It's impossible to be any other, any, probably anything other than a human woman pertaining to be one. Kee hee hee hee. Hmm, isn't that odd, Battle Rock? That's a devil's proof, right? Witches couldn't exist. But just because Bowers never met a witch, doesn't mean you can't deny that witches exist, right? That's right. That really is right. I can't prove that witches don't exist. However, if I can't prove it, I can claim it. I can claim that witches don't exist. Why? Why can you claim that witches don't exist, even though you can't prove it? Because things like that don't exist. What? His logic is, it doesn't exist because it doesn't exist. What the? Okay, what is QED? I'm gonna look up what QED means right now. QED. What does that? Yeah, meaning. What does that mean? Quo around. Oh, a mathematic way of saying I win. <laughs> I don't think guys can read that, but dang. Okay, let's get back to the reading. You're finished proving on any evidence or basis. The only side you're super is typical of, your, of the ignorant. Ignorance is your new best friend. Oh yeah, stop doing that song. That's a good song. A reckless suspicion of thought. In that case, I have one answer, Maria. The witch's sign is to show some proof themselves. It's another devil's proof. If you bring one, it'll be over quickly. In that case, this woman calling herself Beatrice would only have to display some wonderful, magnificent magic like the twinkling stars. She'd only have to show us something that's impossible for humans, right? Come now, you were, you two. Please shut down. Kusan noticed that the atmosphere between them was getting worse and tried to calm them. It seemed as though Bauer quickly realized that he wasn't acting like an adult, but Maria's expression didn't loosen. As she laughed creepily, she kept staring at Bauer. You quit it too, Maria. Let's get back in a good mood, all right? Kee, Jesus, shut the heck up! No wonder Rosa hit you, God, Maria. If that's what you want, Beach will definitely show you something possible for humans. When she does, you'll believe too, right? About Beatrice. Sure, if she lets me have a look, I'll believe. It's a chess argument between the witch and you, Batora. If you get hit, <laughs> I just love how they call his name in Japanese. Batura. Like, Batura. He is. He is not a man. He is not a witch. He is. Batura. Oh, that's a stylish analogy. The witch shows her magic. My king is putting the check. I quibble, saying that would be possible to. Per that would possibly do by minute even a human could take, and my king escapes. And since if I couldn't do that, it'd be checkmate. That's a pretty good analogy. Batura. In chess, you and your opponent have pieces which move in the same way. 
so you can predict your opponent's move. But you know what? You haven't supposed that your opponent's pieces might be able to move in more such way than your set than yours. So we assume that since witches shouldn't exist, move the piece. Ugh. Can't do this all day. I, I'm getting a headache. I don't. I, can we skip this scene? But you know what? I'm sorry, Bagger, but your chess partner isn't human. She's a witch. She can move her piece in a way that humans can't. Right now, your knowledge is wrong. Bafura, you like Kiryu Bots on Chipper thinking, right? Yeah. I like that style of thinking where you stand in your opponent's position. And that's useless. Zim Zim Dummy Dare! You know your opponent is a witch. You won't accept that. So you can't understand the move the witch can't make, and your chessboard thinking won't work. Your knowledge of your opponent is wrong. The very first premise of chessboard thinking is broken down. Oh, is that what you say? You cannot win a chess against a witch. <laughs> oh my god. I do not know what happened after that. We certainly were not to approach the dying hunt room. I see. So, Shannon, have you ever met this person called Bialtariche before? I don't know. Yes, you have. That was a slightly odd way to say it. I thought it didn't sound like she meant she, her memory was vague. For a servant, Beatrice Sam is another master of this mansion. Some, some say that we, that we flew in by master for that skip room. But since the time I started working in the story, Beatrice Sam was already whispered about. I heard about him before. There was a servant who didn't re respect her, was cursed, and actually was had an accident. Yeah, but it's true that some people believe more or less than others. I believe the respect for that sort of thing shouldn't be forgotten, so I've never doubted that she exists. I didn't believe that a, a uncertain being called the Golden Witch surely existed. And now the witch who existed when uncertain actually showed herself and appeared openly from the entrance hall? And that one happened? I don't know. Dear God, woman, stop blind to him. I don't know. Anything. When you brought her dinner, did you talk about anything? No, nothing. You talked about how you guys might die. I see. So, a witch that eats food somehow doesn't sound so realistic. Maybe just someone who knows about the witch. Go ahead and, go ahead and the, 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 the witch. I don't even care anymore. I think that you probably come to respect Beatrice and think of her as something like a guardian god of the mansion. To a person that you're actually calling themselves that, maybe you are a little disturbed. That's right. I'm sure that might be the case. Joe was slightly at a loss of what to do about Shannon's downcast appearance. Possibly. Not just Jinji, but those young servants have also been strictly questioned about whether they had a clue as to who this person called Beatrice was. Thinking that he tried to do something, she tried to do something to cheer her up. Like Maria and Jessica, Shannon had also surely been unable to completely hide her agitation of a sudden visit of a person calling herself the Golden Witch. He thought that might be the case. George probably had no technique of looking at Shannon's heart. Shannon was bitter and sad. The doors of the Golden Land had been opened. The witch had definitely told her that. At that moment, the demise of everything, even if she accepted the ring from George, now that they could never be married, no, in the first place. Didn't furniture like her? Did we already talk about this? Or does it appear that I had to record this three freaking times? Had to turn to get her gaze on the front yard, whatever. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, you really haven't looked well for a while now. George, son, what does it mean to be engaged? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, it means making a promise to marry. Well, I think that means it's the same thing as marriage. Honestly, I want to take you as my wife right now and take you back home. But right now, I am in the middle of training, and I'm still a long way from gaining the ability needed to create my own castle. That's why I wanted to stick out my own chest for the first time since becoming an adult and take you home with- What are you, Ren or Ryugu? I'm not talking about the distant future. I just want you to wait a short for you. That's pretty long. That doesn't mean I want to lie about our feelings for another three years. So, I decided to give you an engagement ring. It might be a shameful reason as a man. 
And I gave him a ring because I want to bear it. Wait, because I can't balance a wife and a job. It might be shameful. I will definitely. Thank you very much. I understand that to you, George, that game ring isn't just another present that you would give to a lover. Well, that was sudden. A game ring isn't a simple ac accessory. An up between lovers, an honored pro promise left in the form of a ring. <laughs> in that case, if we get married quickly, it becomes unnecessary, right? Uh, and it won't be an engagement ring. I'll give it to you as a wedding ring. Either way, it won't change the fact that I'll give you a ring. So it's a f sales contract, like saying. Hang Wait, hang on. Okay, trying to. Gonna combine Shane and Joy's voice. This woman is mine. This woman is mine. This woman is mine. Don't I touch her? Yeah, no, that's not what I. Uh, uh, well. George knew about his shameful character. When he had been captivated by Shannon and sworn to become an excellent man, he was to afraid all the shameful parts of himself. Seeing if it was on purpose, he chose to answer a little roughly. Maybe that would be reassuring to Shannon. No, that may be true. Sayo, I'll make you my wife. I'll give you to anyone else. I'll make you all mine. So no one will lay a hand on you. And that's what this ring is. Without a doubt. Thank you very much, Jorsan. I'm truly happy. Then Jorsan, then Jorsan, if it was signed by faith that this engagement ring, as this promise would not be fulfilled, would you still give it? What the hell was this weather? It was like rain a few minutes ago, now it's all sunny. It's like that episode. Flashback. That was a good episode. Shannon tried to ask that, but she swallowed her words. Because George has already spoken the answer. George has said it. He had said that to him, and a gated ring was infinitely similar to a wedding ring. Therefore, accepting George's ring had a fair had a fair more sacred significance than a promise to marry. Therefore, I will stop calling this engagement ring. From now on, this ain't an engagement. It's a wedding ring. Uh, is that alright? Get a right to him? Just proclaim that we're married without God's blessing? Yeah, it's enough to tell God, Daddy, and Mommy about it afterwards. We'll claim that we are married. No one can say that. Can't, no one cover that up. Your son. I'm not saying this because of a momentary emotion. I'm not just looking at how you are now. I'm looking at the you of tomorrow or the next day. I'm even gazing at you as the LBB in the old age in the future as I say this. You're always talking, George son. About how you want to spend your old age slowly surrounded by healthy children and grandchildren. Yeah, this time that order you will be beside me. That's why I say, no, why I foresee. Yes, but that day will surely come. Will it surely come? Yes, surely, definitely. And this ring proves it without words. Please, show me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here it is. George, thinking he was being told to show her the ring, Hori took it out of his pocket. You know she had practiced so much, he hadn't been able to look cool. Oh, adorable. But Shan wasn't looking at that. Her refrained direction gaze were young, were vague tears and a smile. She concentrated her eyes on George's eyes. No, on something she could see beyond his eyes. Please. Please show me that future. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. Apparently, I promise. And not just no toll at age. After we die too, even if we become spirits, we'll always, always be together. Shan wiped away her tears and took the ring box. Inside was a diamond ring worthy of blessing the two of them. George said that the line he had practiced over and over again inside his head. I want you to put that ring on whatever finger you like, and that's to be your answer. Um, so by tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes! I, I mean, I, these guys are freaking awesome. It really had looked like a very natural movement. And for a while, George was stunned. Yes! Is my answer your son? Shannon. No. Sail. Your spirits will always be together, yeah. Your son. There was no boys in that. 
from God, no pastor to witness, nothing. But the two were married, proclaimed, proclaimed it. Two souls were joined to get here today. Nay, son, you're an idiot. Well, that was rude. Jeez. Is that so? Oh my god, I got pictures on Facebook. Even though your furniture. Even though your furniture. I'm not furniture. Not emo. Liar. Why are you fooling yourself? And why are all the lights off? But we have slightly. Slightly turned on lamps. Now that is weird. Even though you know that you can never become human. Even though you know that you can never become human. You know you never become human. Even so, why did you throw away your promise to go to the golden land? Oh yeah. By the in the ring. That promise would, that promise would be your time comes to nothing, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry. From now, I, you, Jorasan, the master, everyone has the same conditions. Thirteen people will be made sacrifices. Only five people will be invited to the Golden Land. And you rejected one of those places yourself. That's odd. Looks like you're the one with regrets, Cannon Coon. I know I may have had, I know I may have had a tattoo on my arm that says no r regrets, but I have no regrets. You got engaged, right? Even though you know it was a fate that would never be fulfilled. Yes, I promise that we'd always, always be together for eternity. So you know what? In that instant, our journey was completed. Even if we become sacrifices, already completed. So it's all right. Cannon, you're the one who actually has regrets. We're furniture, right? No matter what the result, we will be freed. In that case, it doesn't matter whether we go to the Golden Land or not. And yet you are set on going to the Golden Land. You want to become human no matter what, right? Why? Because I want to become human. I've had enough of being furniture. Why? I also wanted to fall in love. Tears were coming from t both of Cannon's eyes, and he howled. I liked Milady, and after seeing Milady on that day, I started liking her even more. When I heard that Milady also liked me, I was really happy. You could see it on my face. My non-existent smile sprite said so. But I'm furniture. And I can't accept my lady's feel. Yeah, you can. Why is it? I don't get like, do, like, do furniture just not have penises or genitalia? They get them cut off. Like, why can't you not love her? You're wrong. Lady furniture. Maybe less than human. But that doesn't mean we aren't qualified to love. I believe that those spots would never be fulfilled. It would be better without them. I just decided that someday. A day would come where I would disappear, and I would definitely hurt her. No, that's wrong. I was frightened. I was just afraid that if the love could not be eternal, it would be better without it. Okay, it's okay, the last one. Don't use a freaking metaphor, man. Ew. Ew. Since that can was still speaking of his regrets, but now it was all jumbled up in his, cra in his crying voice. I was just testable. Why did she plant those plant these feelings in me? If only she hadn't done that weird prank, I would have played mo paid my lady any notice. Beat your song, it's a testable. Make you cry bitter tears. She played games with your fate. But the witch's expectation would probably be off. After all. Knowing love isn't a regret that ties you to life. It is the place we can we should reach in our journey through life.
Well now, Kanan. That problem you worked so hard for now has come to nothing. <laughs> well now. With this ignition for all the pieces the same. There are 18 pieces. 13 will be offered as sacrifices. Who will the five that are made alive be? And will someone destroy this ceremony? Who? How? Ha 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 ha. This isn't a chess problem. It's a game on equal footing. I won't be closing in one side, Lee. You can frankly run for my advances and make it a tie in a valid match. But the best you can do is have this repeat on and on. It probably won't be that difficult for you. If this valid match will continue forever, eventually wear it down your mind, eventually kill it. At that time, you will accept your defeat and, sur and surrender to me. The reason I had it be a f the reason I said it was a fair game. That's because the rules for my loss wa have also been established. Nothing boring as a game you can't lose, right? A way to defeat me. That is the epitaph offered to my pr portrait. That is both the way to open the door of the Golden Land and the key to destroying my ceremony. I follow the epitaph and complete the ceremony. You solve that riddle of the epitaph, destroy the ceremony, and overthrow me. Solve the riddle hidden in the epitaph and expose the location of the vast gold I gave to Kinzo. What result will this game show us? I expect you a good fight, alright? Entertain me, you Shamia Battler! The hell? Where are we? Wait, where, where are they? Are they in a chapel? Like, what? Thank you, good neighbor. I have no objections. I see and I acknowledge it. I get the... I can't believe it, and I don't want to, but uh, uh, that is the truth, isn't it? Natsui, choose your words more carefully. She is this family's most honored guest. Blah, was a black. Yes, I acknowledge it. I have absolutely no complaints. I can't believe it, really. I have no, I have honestly respected you. I have, all, I have to honestly respect you. Me too. I don't put my hands on my hips in the scene, guy. I'm not gonna hit my kid. I genuinely respect you, so I have to acknowledge it. I acknowledge it too. I still can't believe it, though. Still, what I what can I do? You've proven devils. It's your victory. Tackle, tackle, tackle. The devil's proof was a convenient excuse that you liked using to show that something was impossible for to prove. That has become your own enemy, has it not? Don't torture me, great witch. I've already acknowledged you. I resign. I'm going to look blankly as I roll my uh, as I hollow my eyes. Gary, do you still have any objections? I was of everyone in agreement. If you must, if you want to acknowledge my existence, and the witch will have bullied, the siblings are start getting frantic. They were afraid of his pleasing the witch. Gary lightly closed her eyes and, after keeping silent for a while, opened her mouth. I apologies. I resign. When Kyrie had faced the witch with stern up eyes until the end. However, she had only been able to re resist acknowledging the truth for a short time. The truth, the being, that was before her eyes, couldn't be denied. Those have already been proven. I also acknowledge it. You are Beatrice, the Yoshimiya family alchemist. And you have the giant-ass bosoms. I must acknowledge the fact that you have a giant-ass bosom. 